this is going to be big. Yeah. For more than a decade, ebooks have been touted as the future. Lighter and more convenient, they were seen as a big threat to the printed book. Ebooks, in fact, will be the death of books. But those threats may be overblown as sales slumped. What we're seeing in Canada is that over the last uh, year or so, last two years, it's been a very plateauing of ebook numbers. And it's worse in the U.S. for traditional publishers. Ebook revenue for the first five months of 2015 was down more than 10 percent, or about $65 million. This industry watcher says big publishers are keeping ebook prices too high. People who are using price to shop are not seeing that differential that they once saw. For example, the e-version of Becoming Beyonce retails right now for about $15. The hardcover version is on sale for $21. Critics say for $6 more, you get the physical book that you could put on a shelf or even share with your friends. But non-traditional publishers are bucking the trend. Self-published authors and micro-publishers and even some indie publishers. And so they may be doing very, very well in digital. Hey guys. Hi. Even Amazon, which has rattled the publishing world, is going back to basics. It actually opened its first bricks and mortar store in Seattle this fall. Oh, this is supposed to be amazing. Joe Saul opened Type Books in Toronto a decade ago. She says some of her customers who have tried e-readers just don't like them. I like the feel. I like the smell. I like the fact that I can actually uh, mark it up where I am, dog ear it. And while some still appreciate the tactile nature of paper, others prefer the simple convenience of digital. It's good for convenience when you're traveling and uh, just when I need something that I can pick up and go with. But like them or not, it's reignited the discussion about print versus digital and which one will prevail. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Toronto.